It's been years in the making, but tonight the world's first hand-painted film has previewed in London. Loving Vincent tells the story of Van Gogh's mysterious suicide and includes work by 124 artists. Our arts and entertainment correspondent Lucy Cotter reports now from their studios in Gdansk in Poland. Everybody has a different story about what happened to him. This film is history in the making, the world's first ever fully painted feature film exploring the tortured life and mysterious death of Vincent van Gogh. He was an interesting man. He was a genius. Starring Chris O'Dowd and Saoirse Ronan, it quite literally brings to life some of his most inspirational works. And rather than using computers to digitally animate it, all 64,500 frames have been laboriously painted, the vision of an Oscar-winning director and his wife. I wouldn't have gone to all the trouble of, of finding 124 painters in three different countries, setting up you know, three studios to achieve this and do it so painstakingly by hand of they, they actually move each brushstroke frame by frame unless uh, I thought it could come up with a look which you couldn't achieve any other way. Despite their relatively small budget, the filmmakers managed to get a stellar cast on board who bought into the project and perhaps it's no surprise when this is the closest they'll ever get to having their portrait painted by Van Gogh. There's two artists, there's the actor and then there's the painter and you both work to bring it to life. Although I have to say they've put in a lot, lot more work than I'd, <laughs> I did. What for? I love that you can see the, humans, the, the human touch to it. It's not, it's not perfect because the brush strokes are changing the whole time. So it feels alive and the paint is alive. And when you have it on that, on that scale on the cinema screen, it's gonna, I hope it can be quite, quite magical. Artists from all over the world have spent five years painting each and every individual frame in what's the antithesis of the high-tech studio you might expect for a feature animation. Behind each of these black curtains we have a painter. So this is Yejin who's done more uh, shots on the film than anyone else. How long is this shot? It's four seconds, yeah? So it's 98 frames. So he does a quarter or a third of a second each day, so something like 20 days, just for that one shot of the cart going through with the women. We have definitely, without a doubt, invented the slowest form of filmmaking ever devised in 120 years. How does a man go from being absolutely calm to suicidal in six weeks? In a world where everything seems to be going digital and so many decisions are driven by saving time and money, the choice to spend years painstakingly painting tens of thousands of canvases seems about more than just authenticity. This is a labour of love and proof there are some things modern technology just can't capture. Lucy Cotter, Sky News, Poland.